your face! Petra! Petra! You're number one! You're number one! A uh, cheater much? I totally saved you back there. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right, sorry. I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <coughs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Okay, you big, ugly, llama thing. Just hold still so we can get this over with. <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away! Just grab the... <laughs> Oh. Ugh, gross. Come on. Let's get after that armor wrecking thing. Uh, hang on. It's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Llama, 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 where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. I told you, I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? <laughs> How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Get out of the way, I was looking at that. What's that? Only one way to find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Yeah. <laughs> 
Whoa, girl. What is it? Some sort of glove. Or a gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Where? What is this thing? I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it, it seems like it's not hurting you, and that's good. It looks kind of... Okay, actually, it looks really cool. Uh, which I know might not be what you want to hear right now. Maybe it has, I don't know, like, powers or something. Well, if it does, it's too bad it didn't come with an instruction manual. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. Okay, ow! Wow, stop! That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. It's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah, until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh oh. Get off the pyramid quick! Okay, now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground. Some sort of... heck mouth? Sure, yeah. Heck mouth. I... I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? I don't care whether we can see the bottom or not. We need to cover it up, now. Right! Sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but in here. Not getting out the way we came, though. close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? Ooh, mysterious. Okay, then, <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... That was really bad. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. Knew you'd be excited. Yes. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home.
Petra, you're just as much a part of this as me. You can't just walk away from it. I... Ugh, I promise we'll take care of it. Just why are you being so weird about this llama? What's the big deal? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. Mm. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Petra, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, mm. or... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. You're one of my best friends. And it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry. We're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and... <sighs> get this thing off my hand! This is it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. Wow, this is super impressive. Good layout, great colors. If you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team, and we will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. <laughs> this Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. Wow, that is a classy mineshaft entrance. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep, she's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough. Making up new rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it.
Hey, the llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. I can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you. You. Oh, Luna, my darling! You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City? Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. <laughs> and, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> don't push too hard now. That's... Oh. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh, well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that.
Stella's treasure room is right there. Uh, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. We'll roll in, fight the bodyguards, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Hey, you can't be in here. And you definitely can't have those. Let's get fire out! it up. I don't like you. Ha! Not a fan of yours either. We still really need to talk about this, Petra. You really want to discuss it now? Yes, I do. It does seem like weird timing. Shush. Hey, shush you. I'm trying <laughs> to have a conversation here. <laughs> this whole Champion City thing is kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey! What's going on out here? Uh, <laughs> so what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. Yipes! What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? <laughs> you mean the friends who are never around anymore? <laughs> What did you say? No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest, and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It gets embarrassing. Yeah, you're right. Of course, you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge box, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Wow, that actually makes me kind of sad. She thinks that all it takes is having a room full of treasure. Even if you got it from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? <clears throat> so, our rivalry escalates again. You're not my rival. Says the person breaking into my treasure room. Classic rival move. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. I've got better treasure than that anyway. Who needs it? Your deal with Petra is over, Stella. No negotiations. Sure, fine. She was a lousy hero in residence anyway. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man.